Okay, sample problem. A 20 gram particle moves in part, uh, simple harmonic motion with a frequency of 3.0 oscillations or uh, 3.0 oscillations per second or 3 hertz frequency and an amplitude of 5 centimeter. Uh, question letter A. Through what total distance does the particle move during one cycle of its motion? Next, uh, what is its maximum speed? Where does that occur? C. Find the maximum acceleration of the particle. Where does that occur? So, speed, tapos acceleration, tapos yung distance. Okay, um, syempre, again, draw, uh, ano muna natin to, sulat muna natin yung given, yung mass natin is 20 gram. Meron tayong frequency of 3 hertz. Tapos meron tayong amplitude. Amplitude of uh, 5.0 centimeter. Okay. Uh, para mas magets natin, simple harmonic motion daw yung movement niya. So, syempre, mas okay kung madodrawing muna natin. So, X sub M, tapos ito yung uh, negative X sub M, X sub M, negative. So, from this point, nag-move siya papunta sa ganyan, then umangat siya, then pabalik. Okay? Uh, ito yung isang ano nyo lang, isang oscillation. Pero syempre, naka, in, three, in one second, nakatatlong oscillation siya. Pero uh, analyze na lang muna natin yung isa. So, uh, sagutan natin, question number uh, letter A, total distance. Does the particle move in one cycle of its motion? Okay, yung total distance na gusto niya natin makuha is yung kung gano'n talaga kalayo, yung physical na layo niya. So, kung makikita natin, from this point, nag-move siya papunta sa zero. And we know, itong distance na to is 5 cm. And also, dito rin, 5 cm din to. So, from maximum to zero, 5 cm. Tapos, from zero to negative maximum, that is plus 5 cm. Tapos, from negative maximum to back to zero, plus 5 cm. And then, from zero to maximum positive, plus 5 cm. Okay? So, makakuha natin yung distance na na-cover niya is uh, 4 times yung amplitude niya lang. Or that is 20 cm. Okay? Take note natin yan. Okay. Uh, next question natin is, what is the maximum speed and where does that occur? Okay. Kung simple harmonic motion yung naging process natin or yung movement niya, uh, puntaan muna natin yung equation ng ating displacement. That is x sub m cosine omega t plus phi. Okay? So, back again, nag-start siya dun sa ating pinakamataas, 5 cm. So, ang mangyari, yung phi natin is 0 pa rin. Pero, meron tayong mga kuwang omega. Yung ating angular uh, frequency. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong 2 pi f given yung ating Frequency na 3. So, makuha natin na 2 pi times 3. So, yung ating omega is 18.85. So, kung meron tayong omega 18.85, uh, masolve, na na, masolve na ba natin yung ano? Uh, etong function natin? Siyempre, hindi pa rin kasi hindi naman given yung time. Okay? So, yung omega na yan is magagamit din natin yan para dun sa question number 2. Kasi yung question number 2 is maximum speed. Yung maximum speed is yung VT natin. So, V times T is equal to negative uh, omega X sub M cosine omega T. Lang. Okay? So, wala, hindi ko na nalagay yung phi ah, dahil yung phi naman is zero lang din. Okay, uh, and then, substitute natin yung ating Ang pinapanap yung maximum speed. Ito yun, di ba? So, kung yan yung VM natin, substitute natin yung ating omega at saka X sub M. So, yung omega times X sub M tayo. Yung omega natin is 18.85. That is region per second. Lagyan ko dito, region per second. Tapos, yung X sub M natin is 0 0.05 times 0 0.05 meter. So, yung BM natin, 
is equal saan? Times natin. 0.9425 meter per second. Okay? Siyempre, alam na natin na yung maximum speed is nag-work pa rin kung saan x is 0. Kaya, uh, at x is equal to 0. Okay, next, yung pinapahanap sa atin is yung acceleration naman. So, balik tayo dun sa formula natin ng acceleration. That is equal to uh, negative omega squared x sub m. Sorry, hindi pa hindi pala ano, cosine. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Hindi siya cosine, kundi sine. Sign. Tapos, yung uh, acceleration natin yung cosine. Omega t. So, hindi naman natin kailangan yung buong equation na to. Ang kailangan lang natin, eh, syempre, itong uh, x sub m at saka yung omega squared. Kasi yan yung value ng ating maximum acceleration. So, nakuha na rin naman natin yung omega. That is 18.85 squared times yung ating x sub m na 0. 0.5. So, yung ating maximum acceleration is magiging I is equal to 17.76 meter per second squared. Okay. So, yun na yung value natin ng maximum acceleration. The question is, find where does that occur? So, saan nag-occur yun? Makikita natin yun sa uh, peaks. Bakit? Kasi, di ba, kung ito yung para sa ating uh, displacement, yung para sa atin sa x sub t, yung graph natin para sa acceleration naman is negative lang naman niya, di ba? So, mag start lang sa baba, and then pataas, then pataas, ganyan. So, makikita natin na nagma-maximum yung ating acceleration sa peaks. Doon sa positive at positive negative 5.0 cm. Ito guys, oh, ito, peak siya dito. Tapos, peak din siya dito. Kasi nandito yung 